Alright you guys, ZFR back here and this is going to be another video about The Witcher Netflix. So, yeah, for those of you who didn't hear, pretty much Witcher Netflix has released a teaser trailer for the show, our first real good look at this show, and there's a lot of mixed opinions about it online right now. New angle, by the way, let me know what you guys think. There's a lot of mixed opinions, alright? So, with that being said, um, I just want to say right off the bat that I did like the trailer. And I'm going to go into reasons I liked it and stuff, but in a different video. That's not what this video is about. Um, I am going to have a trailer breakdown video like I promised you guys out tomorrow. So, make sure you come back to check that out um, if that's what you want to see. But this video is going to be about the games versus the books because you know this is a topic that's been blowing up ever since this show has been a thing you know um the the showrunner i was getting ready to say head writer the showrunner um lauren whatever her last name is <laughs> her last name is cool but i just can't i just can't pronounce it can't remember it so yeah i'm just gonna call her lauren but you know she's been really hammering away this point that this show is going to adapt the books and not the games. And fans just don't like it. Okay, that's the that's the simple way to put it. Fans are not happy about this being said repeatedly for a couple different reasons. And, you know, fans just haven't been liking the differences they're, they're seeing in the show compared to the games and stuff like that. And there's a lot of good reasons the, for the fans to be upset, in my opinion. And, you know... I'm kind of going to go at this from a neutral standpoint, even though I stand a little bit more with the fans on this subject. But, personally, I'm just going to say right off the bat, I don't understand why they keep making this harsh, um, they, 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 they're like drawing this really harsh line between this show and the video games. And, I'm just like, why? Now, at the moment... I'm currently reading through the Witcher books because I want to um, have read all of them before the show comes out because I'm a massive Witcher fan. I just haven't read the books yet. Um, but, yeah, I'm almost, I'm probably going to be finished with The Last Wish this weekend and I'm going to be starting on the next one um, pretty soon after that. So, with that being said, from what I've understood, from what I understood, from what I understand and have heard, from what I've been told through research and stuff like that on the subject, the games are a direct continuation of the books. Alright, that's the way I've always understood it ever since I played Witcher 3. Alright, the games are a direct continuation of the books. Yeah, there's a few differences and stuff between the books and the games, but not anything massive to the point where you know they would be considered two different versions of the wits or whatever um so i don't really understand why the distinction you know if you're adapting the books directly like you're saying you, you're gonna do if you're adapting the books then that just means the game the games would be a continuation of the books. I get there might be a few legal reasons they can't say that, but just come out and say that, all right, if that's what it is. But I don't think that's what it is. Um, and a lot of people just are dumbfounded on why they're doing this. You know, people are freaking out about the castings because the characters didn't look like they did in the game, which I think is understandable. The game pretty much gave the characters a lot of unique trademark iconic kind of looks for this franchise so when you change that up you know you can't really expect people to um take it well it's going to take time for new looks and new uh, things like that to grow on people not to mention in this day and age where, where we have all this crazy hardcore sjw stuff being shoved down our throats constantly you know, and something as and something as politically driven as the Witcher, like the Witcher has a lot of social politics in it by default. You can't have the Witcher without it, right? You know, it's easy for people to see what other um people who took the social politic thing too far and ended up ruining their souls in games or whatever in movies. 
um, you know, it's easy for them to see you injecting them or see the part of that that part of the witzer and get worried that you're getting ready to ruin it. You know, you can't take it personally. It's just people kind of have, and I don't want to make the joke of PTSD or anything like that, but people kind of have whiplash, um, you know, from all these past couple um, movies or whatever. You know, they're having flashbacks and stuff um, with this show. So people are a little worried, but I would say... Don't let it get on your skin. All you got to do is put your head down, prove people wrong, right? But, back to um, why they're doing all this with the games, right? Now, this could just be my, my opinion. But something tells me that the reason they are drawing this harsh distinction between the video games, this show, and the books is because I think that in the back of their minds that I don't think they know for sure yet. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure um, the showrunner Lauren has said that she doesn't know how many seasons of the show is going to go on, but I do believe somewhere in the back of her head she's thinking this could possibly go past the end of the books with which, if that's the case, that's going into the territory of the video games, and that would mean that um, she's going to be writing over the story of the games. <laughs> I think she's just trying. To, I I think there's a possibility she's trying to um, kind of you know prepare us for that without really coming out and saying it, or maybe she doesn't even know for sure if she's going to do it yet or not. And listen, here's my thing. I don't mind if you're going to do it. I hope you would still give the video games fans a few bones, like throw a few Easter eggs out there for them, you know, like Garrett with the double swords later, later on in the show. I know people want him to have the swords now. In the books, he only carries one at a time, so I don't have a problem with it. But, you know, I hope they do the two sword thing way down the line, just as like a little Easter egg for the fans. Even if it's only for one episode or for one or two scenes, you know, just give the, give the fans something, you know. Um, but, anyway, yeah, I feel like they're going to write over um, the game and stuff later on. I feel like that's why they keep making this harsh distinction. What's... I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't mind it if they did. And here's why I say that. The Witcher 3 was a game, you know, it, it, it was a very good game. The other Witcher games were amazing too, from what I hear. I, I, I watched the other Witcher games, you know, I watched YouTube videos of them and stuff, walkthroughs and stuff, because by the time I became a Witcher fan, I wasn't going back and, you know, going through the struggle of, you know, Having to replay those games with old gen controls and stuff because that would have sucked. But I enjoyed the story from the first two. So the stories were amazing, right? You no, know, Witcher 3, game of the year, game of the generation. For some, including myself, best game of all time. Big shoes to fill, all right? I understand. And. But, and it may be unfair to ask them to fill these shoes, but one way or another, people are going to expect them to kind of, you know, either do just as good or do better. And, you know, once again, kind of unfair, but that that's just that comes with the territory of working with a franchise this great. You know, people expect you to keep that quality up, and that can be a daunting task. Um, but anyway getting to what I'm trying to say here is I feel like Witzer fans would not mind if they made it to the end of the books with the show and they wrote over what was in the games and gave us a different version. As uh, long as, you know, by that point hopefully they've proven that this show is good. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, I don't I don't know about our Witzer fans but I will absolutely wouldn't mind seeing new Witcher adventures or a new Witcher story and stuff like that um, created by these people if they do a good job with, you know, the book material. So, I think that's what's going to happen. I think that's what's going on. I think that's why, you know, <laughs> they keep bringing up 
um, this isn't the games, this isn't adapts to the games, this, blah, 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 because, I mean, why else are you doing it? Because, like I said, the games are a continuation of the books, and the show is adapting the books, so the games could technically serve as a slight continuation of the um, show. Maybe not an exact continuation, because I, I figure they're going to remix a few things from the books, but... Well, they kind of already have with the way certain characters look. But, you know, I don't think fans will mind. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, that's just what I think. You know, let me know what you guys think down below and stuff. You guys know I love reading those comments and everything. But, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be doing a breakdown of the trailer tomorrow. That's going to be out for you guys. And also make sure you come... Um, back to this channel for more Witcher content because I do have another video besides the trailer breakdown um, ready to go for this show that we're probably going to be releasing sometime either the end of this week or beginning of next week and then later on next week we do have some massive announcements of the, for the channel if you're a fan of this channel if you're a fan of me and you like a lot of my views and points on Witcher highly recommend you stick around um, for next week because we have some big announcements coming up. I'm really excited to announce some stuff that I'm going to be bringing to this channel for you guys. So, um, yeah. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Like I said, leave comments down below. Tell me what you guys think about this whole debate and controversy. Um, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. All that great stuff. Or if you hate me and hate my views and <laughs> my points, hit the dislike button, you know. I think it still does something. But um, anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys on the next one. ZFR out.